How many of you have all have been led to believe that Muslim women do not have choice when it comes to marriage and divorce, right? Okay. So again, this is something that in that list I started, you know, reading more and more. But there's a story that I'd like to share. One of the companions of the Prophet Muhammad, uh, his name was Ibn Abbas. Ibn just means son, so the son of a man named Abbas. He relates that once a, a young girl, she came to the Prophet Muhammad, and she had just been married off forcibly by her father, and she was very upset. So she came to complain to him. Now, in that moment, the prophet, you know, the marriage ceremony had already happened. So he paused, and he, and again, this is important to uh, to reflect on what you know how he engaged her. He asked her, "Now that this has happened, you have a choice. Do you wish to stay in this marriage, or do you wish to leave the marriage?" Her response was, "What do you think?" Throughout some guesses. How many people think she said, I want out, bring me out of this? She complained, right? How many people think she stayed? All right, have you read this? <laughs> she, she actually said, I do wish to stay, but the reason I spoke up is so that I let other women know that no man has the right to force them into a marriage. So this story to me was really profound because not only is she exercising her own you know, choice, right, in the matter, but she's also clearly showing that she is looking out for other women, and so she made a really responsible decision to speak out. She could have just, you know, kept quiet and gone to the, and stayed in that marriage without anybody ever knowing that she had a problem with it. But she wanted to make a, a clear point, and the fact that that was related to, you know, not just one story, but many that dispel this myth that Muslim women cannot marry or divorce, and that's one, like I said, of many. 